Alright, so background scroll interactions. This is something that has been highly requested uh, for me to look into again over uh, Twitter DMs and forum PMs and whatnot. So here it is. Here's the tutorial and I figured out a way to make it super simple to recreate or copy and paste into your projects. All right, here we go. Now, if you haven't heard of a background scroll interaction, it's when you go to each section and the whole background changes. That way you don't have like a horizontal line between each section that, um, you know, it's just here's the next section. Here's the next sec next section. This one, you can actually um, have a have some sort of like fade in effect of the next section, which is really nice and smooth. So as you can see, you can use background images, background colors, or even background looping videos. All right. So let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to go to my work page and let's go ahead and do this first section. Let's bring in a section and we we'll call this work hero and this work hero. The height is going to be 100 VH. So we're just setting up what the first row is going to look like and we're going to set that to center center. So that way when I put in a div block to hold the content here, it's perfectly in the center. Let's go ahead and make this with 75% of the of the page, 75% uh, width of the page, but I'm going to constrain that 75% to a max width of 1180 pixels. All right, let's start putting in, uh, let's recreate, um, name this work hero content. Okay. And inside of here, let's go ahead and put an H1 and just call this um, BG scroll. Effect. All right, and let's go ahead and also put a button. Okay, start scrolling. We'll link this later once we're done. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and put in the next section. All right, so we have our second section. We'll call this work row. Okay, or work section. Cool. All right, so only thing we need to do is just add some padding. So I'm going to put like 164, okay? And inside of there, I'm going to put in a container. And now I'm going to put in a rich text, all right? So this is like, um, actually, let me get Lorem Ipsum in here. Uh, Lipsum Pro. So Lipsum.pro, you can get a bunch of paragraphs. We'll get four five paragraphs. Okay. Yep. That's enough. That's enough for scrolling. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we have our filler text there and so we have that, that cool. All right. So now our content in that section is done. All right. Let's go ahead and start making the magic happen. I'm going to bring in a, div block inside of the work section. Okay. Not in the container, but in the work section. All right. And we're going to set this to, uh, I give it a class name of background holder. Okay. This is going to hold our backgrounds. I'm going to set this to position relative. All right. And that's it. That's all I have to do for that. Now I'm going to drag in another div block right there and I'm going to call this BG one. This is our first background. And with this, I'm going to set this to fixed full. And then with the Z index, I'm going to press down on my keyboard for negative one. So if you think about like a sandwich, you know, um, or the, or city street. Okay. If you go negative one, you're going under the street. If you go positive one, you're going one level above the street and so forth and so forth. Okay. So we want to make this a background. We go negative one. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and put a background image. We'll use that one cover and see how I can't see my content. 
That's because I didn't style my container. So let's go ahead and do that. Go style my container real quick. Set this to white. Let's get some padding holding shift and change the border radius to 10. And there we go. We can see my content. Okay. All right. Now to make sure that we don't get distracted, we can go ahead and set the background holder to opacity zero. All right. Now let's make some interactions happen. Okay. So here's the interactions part. Okay. We go to work section, use lightning bolt, and we're going to do scroll into view as our trigger. Okay. And we're going to start animation and we're going to set the, uh, oops, we're going to set the offset to 30%. Okay. So what this means, this offset, what it means is at, at the bottom of the screen, when it gets to about here, if you were to say this is 100% and this is 0%, when it gets to around here, that's when the trigger is going to happen. So if I go right here, that's when the trigger happens, all right? And then for the opposite, scrolling out of view, okay? We also set that 30. And that's when, um, here, let me make another work section real quick. Okay, so I can explain to you what this offset is. All right, so for scrolling into view, the offset is like right here, if 30%. Okay, right when I get here, boom, the interaction starts. Okay, and then for scroll out of view, it's the opposite 100% is here, and 30% is somewhere around here. So if I keep scrolling, the right when I get here, that's when, um, yeah, so that's when the interaction for scrolling out of view happens. Okay, now that you know what offset means, let's go ahead and start adding our animation. So I'm going to press plus sign and uh, call this work uh, show BG. And now, since I'm in animation mode, I can go to the navigator and click on background holder and go back to interactions, and I'm still on the timeline. Okay, for this timeline, the background holder, I'm going to set its opacity as initial state to zero, okay? Now, for reusability purposes, I want to use class. So all elements with this class, but it has to be a child, okay? So I'm gonna click that, and let me show you real quick. This is the one with the trigger. This background holder is a child of the element with the trigger. So that's why when I say find something with this background holder class, but only the children within this class. So that's what it means. That way I can reuse this over and over again, and it's not going to make the other backgrounds opacity zero. It's not going to make the other backgrounds do animations. Only this one because it's a child of the, of the trigger. Okay. So for this, uh, for the first step, let's go ahead and set the opacity to 100%. Awesome. And we're going to make this a little bit slow. We're going to say one full second and set the ease out to court, ease out court. And it should look something like this. Awesome. And I th think this background holder also needs to be negative one. Let me double check. So let's go to style negative one, because it's doing that weird flickering with the content. All right, so let's go ahead and back in the work section and go back to the interaction. Let's preview. There we go, yep. So I had to set it negative one, so it's behind the content, okay? All right, so let's uh, do the opposite. Let's hide the background, and here's how to do it really quick. Click those three dots, duplicate, go into your new one, 
and we'll call this hide background. We'll delete opacity 100. We'll keep the opacity zero, but it won't be initial state. It'll have an easing of out court and a duration of one. And yeah. So here you should be able to see it happen. There we go. It's working. Okay. So our interaction is done. Now the simplicity of it, like I figured it out and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Okay. Check this out. I'm going to, uh, copy and paste this actually. Yeah. Okay. So let me copy and paste, but watch this. I'm going to delete that. Okay. And I'm going to copy and paste, paste, paste like four times. I think I have four things. Okay. Now let's go ahead and work on each thing real quick. And so this second row, this second uh, section shouldn't have the same background. So I'm going to go to it and turn on opacity. I think they're overlaying right now, but we'll see. So instead of BG one, I'm going to go to BG one and duplicate the class and give it a name of BG two. And I don't want the image. I want a different color. Okay. So I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing it, but it's okay. It's happening. It's happening in the background. Okay. Now let's go ahead and open up number three. Going to duplicate, call it number three, delete the image, put in a different image. Okay. Do the same thing for number four. Duplicate number four and delete and give it a color of, okay. We'll use that one and yeah. So we have image color image and let's see here. Yeah. So, oh, okay. So the reusability. So if I go back to the first section, Notice that it, it's the only one that has a trigger. And if I scroll up and down, oh, wait, I have to turn off the backgrounds. Right there, background holder. It needs to be off. There we go. There we go. Cool. So only one section actually has the effect. Now, reusability is a beautiful thing. So if I click on work section, and click on the trigger, check this out, all the way down here. Click on it on class. So any element with the class name of work section will automatically get these interactions. And I go back to here, boom, all the triggers have it. Boom, done. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, make the web beautiful. See ya.